I've seen this movie eight million times. <laughs> I just would like to see a show of hands of first timers. That is awesome. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? I know a lot of other adoptees have fascinated with the sky, um, but I wrote an article one time called The Sky and I, and I described the sky as being my first love growing up because I was under the same sky as my birth mother. And every time I would go outside to play, I had specific trees in the neighborhood that I would climb to the top. And I knew which ones would get me higher to the top because I would be closer to her. And I would be up at the top of a tree, I mean the top, of this huge tree swaying as a little girl, and I would reach up and touch the sky because it was closer to my birth mother. And I now describe the sky as like my baby blanket because it was the only tie that I had to her. And I just so often that that mystery that goes with close adoption is that kids don't feel grounded in anything, so they're just kind of floating in this like lack of knowledge. So I think finding some way of grounding can be really helpful. But you know, I'm a transracial adoptee, so um, you don't get the sort of benefit of, me of finding out one day, it happens all along. And so I don't have a memory of finding out, which I think actually was really helpful and actually did some research on like discovery adoptees and found out that if you find out after the age of three, it's essentially already kind of late. And kids have a memory, there's a little bit of trauma that's already associated with finding out. Then I close my eyes and imagine where I'm at peace, where I'm happy. I just want to be at home. My joy is just staying empty in my garden.